everybody, this is Ruben out here. What? And we're returning with our Hearts of Iron mod. For World Conqueror 3 to throw down our East Germany campaign. Um, now, we have we got through the, the initial, oh shit, I might be overran part of the series. But in the process, we lost Manstein. And it hurts. It hurts my heart right here. It gets to me. It breaks me up inside. Anyways, we are we're just going to um, focus our wrath of losing Manstein on the English. That is my that's my main goal right now. I mean, I'll mess around with the French, but what I'm really doing is building up for my invasion of Britain. Poor Manstein. He just can't catch a break. If you've never read about Manstein, like, even if it's a, a wiki page, just go check it out and, um, he could not catch a break after the war. It, it was just a, a shit life for him after the war. Living in constant fear, basically. Some countries were just like, hey, this guy is innocent. Other countries, for whatever reason, wanted wanted him by the balls. You know what I've noticed so far about this mod? I said... I said this, you know, about how, about the, the metal count and getting that stuff and... Grinding for generals and stuff, resources. It plays so much similar to World Conqueror 3. Even though there's added countries and stuff. Like just... Just moving slowly through a conquest. It's I could, you know, think that I was accidentally playing just the old school World Conqueror 3 there for a moment. But the problem I'm dealing with right now is I'm playing World Conqueror 4. So I, I keep thinking, you know, oh, I'm going to click on this artillery twice and, and, and get a, a higher leveled artillery or shit, I, I need to take over this dockyard so that they, that I can end, end, end this country's whole career. Alright, well, at least our Russian allies are helping clear this area out. I can't say enough, and we all know this to be the case. Your allies rarely, rarely ever do they help you out. So when they actually do do something that helps you out, it's like, it's so shocking and refreshing. Like, you know, the Soviets didn't have to come help me out. They could have been asshats about the whole situation, left it, left it for me. I mean, they got... They got stuff that they probably need to take care of on on their eastern front. But they decided to help me out. They did me a solid. I will return the favor because I have a feeling that you're going to need it. I have a feeling the US, Australia, Japan is probably going to hit you pretty hard in the east. So it's up to me to come bail you out. You know, I, I like the more vibrant colors. But it does kind of make it look more cartoony. It's like the old style um, Nuketown on... Oh, what the hell am I talking about? Which one was that? Was that Call of Duty Black Ops that had the original Nuketown on it? I don't know, but anytime you go back to that or see it played, it's just like, oh my god, this looks so cartoony. It almost looks anime. I love that shit, though. I love the original Nuketown. It was Black Ops, wasn't it? Because I remember... <laughs> 
I remember all I would do is troll people. I like I would I would get on New Town, and I would play um, gun game, and just run around knifing people. And I got good as shit at it. Like I I can't shoot people for shit. You know my KD is not high at all. I mean I wasn't that great a player, but one thing I could do was stab the shit out of some people. I mean I could own and I could own in a knife fight. I did better fighting people with a knife than I would with a gun. So yeah, I just I trolled people all the time, pissed them off, just made made people quit on the regular. The good old days, and then I just after it was after about that that I just stopped playing Call of Duties. Especially, especially when it went futuristic. Now I know the new. They're going back, World War II, and, you know, I'll have to play it, not for, not, not even for, like, the, uh, online play, but for the campaign. I haven't missed a Call of Duty World War II campaign ever. Same can be said with Battlefield, same can be said with, um, what was that other one? There was one other series. Damn, I can't remember what it was. In the heyday of Call of Duty World War II, there was another series of games. It wasn't Battlefield, was it? I don't think it's... Medal of Honor! That's what it was! Medal of Honor! Play the shit out of some Medal of Honor, too. I've been, I got a decent amount of medals in my World Conqueror 4 right now. I was telling you bros I was saving up for a Navy General. Um, I think I'm going to get... <laughs> I don't even know yet. I was, I was looking through right before I played this, like which one am I going to get? I usually don't like the the hybrid generals, you know, say one that's good with aircraft and ship because then their perks are like kind of split in between them. I just like one main ability and most of the perks be dedicated to that ability. But a, a, a hybrid general when you're leveling is nice. So if I can pick one up that is good with, you know, air ability and ship ability and navy um i'm gonna go ahead and grab him up now last i talked about it i was debating if i was gonna drop another nine bucks to pick up uh, um, eisenhower i just don't think i i now that i got Enough medals that I'm almost ready to buy a, a Navy General. I don't think I need to to do that purchase. I'm feeling pretty confident about my situation right now. I just need a fourth General. It's, it's just holding my progress up right at this point. You know what I mean? It's just, I need that Navy General. For one, I need four Generals on some of those daily missions. I can't do them without four Generals. And, um... That's what kind of sucks about World Conqueror 4 from World Conqueror 3. I mean, if you had one general and he was totally badass and a, a mission needed three generals, you didn't have to send three generals. You could only send one. Now it makes you send them. Like, why should I Why should I be forced to send four generals if, like, Manstein himself could probably get it done? I don't know. It's just one of those questions that she can't answer. EC Tech had some ideas, and um, that's what they rolled out with. Anyways, I need it for that. Um, I've been working on unlocking the generals. I got them. I think I got all of them, twenty percent, right now. Uh, what's holding me up there is 
I have not unlocked like the super artillery and the super tank. So I, I'm needing to get my HQ high enough that I can unlock those so that I can compete in the 40% off the legendary generals. But also the exercise I'm on right now, I need a Navy general for. Alright, we have made some pretty decent progress through Europe and actually it has... There hasn't been much defense here besides Italy. I mean, Italy threw out a little bit, but not bad. Not too bad at all. Our conquest of England is going as planned. Russian allies still there helping us out. I've also been debating the Wolfenstein purchase. I just, I, I, I don't know if that's something I want to do or not. I love the franchise, don't get me wrong, but I usually don't buy it right when it comes out. I'm, I'm, I'm a cheap ass, guys. I'm cheap in that way. I don't buy a game right when it comes out because if I wait a while, it'll be like, you know, 25, 50% off in a month or two. Like, I was gonna, I was gonna get the new South Park right as it came out. I decided against it. And there's so many games coming out that I want to play. The new um, Assassin's Creed looks really good. So many badass games. So... Such few um, dollars in my wallet. I mean, my, 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 this, this YouTube thing needs to take off so I can afford more games. I mean, I'm going to measure YouTube su success in how many games I can purchase per month with what I make. Isn't that truly what YouTube success is? Okay, this, this month I can get 2.3 games, right? A little bit better over the 2.1 from last month. You know, we might be able to clear the UK out this episode. Which would be nice. Then I can start... I can start my journey to the Americas. Because now I gotta clear out, clear out South America too. Um, I also gotta take out Africa. And Africa looks like it's gonna be a pain in the ass. This is probably going to take a, a while. This is probably gonna be a pretty decently long series. Boom! Italy! Bruh. Nice. We're getting a firm grip on control in mainland Europe. If I can sneak in here. Just get a foothold. Just get it started. I feel a lot better about my situation. I mean, yeah. All that money could have been used in England, but... I feel better having having a city in Africa. Are the Soviets ever going to land or are they just going to set out at sea? What's going on? They've been pushed up against the beach for, what, four rounds? 
Bros, I'm not stopping you. You can land at any time. I come on in. You you may help out in the land battle. I don't know why you want to set out there. Get my nukes. Get my nuke game up. I need to take this. I need this air filled. I, I feel like... Anchor will be a nice place to capture. That'll, that'll give me control over the Middle East. At least that's the same. At least taking Ankara means you've actually, you know, pretty much got the Middle East under control. Oh, shit. See that? That What? Oh, my God. Southeast Asia and Southern Middle East is just like... Mini Luxembourgs. Okay, that's an exaggeration. There's nothing. I've never seen anything that bad in all my life. I will go to my grave never having seen anything that bad, probably. Hey, right, give me that airfield. Hopefully I can reach... I can reach Portugal. All of Portugal's land. I really don't want to send a force out at Portugal. I would rather just be able to take it over by air. Anyways, bros, we're arriving up at seven minutes now, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. If you're enjoying this content, you know what to do. Slap the shit out of like and subscribe. And I will see you back here for our next upload. Peace. Illuminati out.